Hi, so with us right now, thank you so much for that demo, but with us right now is Michelle Wyatt, CEO and founder. And it's kind of crazy that I'm watching this chat and I just have to say, you have some real fans of clients, it's amazing. So um, a couple of questions that I wanted to ask you, start with the conference harvester. Um, can you tell us how it's different from other management tools? Because I'm seeing some questions about that. Cool. So the great thing about the conference harvester is not only do the meeting managers get to go in and assign rooms and correct presentations, but it's also collecting the information directly from the speakers and the exhibitors. As soon as that information is collected from the speaker and the exhibitor, it goes live not only in the conference harvester, but if the client wants with all the attendee and user products, which include a mobile app and an online itinerary planner, e-poster gallery, evaluations, and a whole host of other products. So the instant updates and the instant feedback is one of the best parts about the conference harvester. So one of the things that when we were talking, uh, while we were watching the video, that I thought was the coolest statement that she made was that they have 10 products, but one system. So one change updates everything. Which, as you know, as meeting planners, we have no time to even try and make one change, let alone 10. So I love that that's how it's set up. Um, can you give us a little bit more background on how people are utilizing that? Sure. So one of the um, struggles a lot of people have before they work with Cadmium CD is that, let's just say you have a last minute speaker cancellation, you have to replace it with a new speaker. A lot of times in the past, they may have had to make four or five different calls to different vendors. They have someone doing their website, another person, another company doing their program guide, another company doing their mobile app. So there was a whole host of people that needed to be notified. With the Harvester tool, they go in, they make an adjustment, and everything immediately updates with the newest information. Oh what a time saver, seriously. I wish, I wish we had that for everything. Um, so I know that Cadmium CD recently partnered with GES to repurpose the Harvester. Well, I, have, I have an actual sentence here. To be used on site in connection with digital displays. Could you tell us a little bit more about that? Sure. So one of the great things about the Harvester is its ability to output the information into a variety of mediums. Um, the newest medium that we've been working with GES on is the ability to do digital signage outside of the rooms. So any of the information that you can collect through the Harvester can also be output to the digital signs in front of your rooms, and then there can be a schedule. So let's just say five minutes before the current session ends, you want it to rotate with the newest session information. We can include the speaker photos, the session information, the titles, learning objectives, all that great stuff. So as your attendees are walking up to the room, they get a warm fuzzy as to exactly who they're going to be seeing and what they're going to be seeing in that specific room. In addition, we've also been doing um, on-site room manage or speaker management. So if your speakers, and we all have them, have last minute changes to their presentations right before they're supposed to go live, they go to the speaker ready room, they upload their revised presentation, and then it immediately sends it to the presentation room where they're scheduled to speak. That's amazing because um, everyone always has a last minute change. Even even I do. I'm not done with mine for tomorrow yet. Um, so, do you have? I have a question here from Michelle James. She wants to know: Do you have the ability for ARS? Um, is there an audio response? Audio response, response systems? Uh, no, we do have an app that does do um, session evaluations, and we also have a survey magnet tool which does quizzes and evaluations without putting continuing education certificates, but we do not have an audience response system yet. Good to know. Oh, another question. Um, is there a type, size of event that benefits most from CD technology? Vanessa wants to know. We work all, with all size clients. We have some really large clients, um, like the American Dental Association, American Institute of Architects, and NASA, which is, um, hi Leslie, I saw that you're on. Um, so those are really large clients that we love to work with, but we actually, on average, have about 500 attendees at our event. So we work with all sizes of the conferences. I would say our smallest event is probably around 100 attendees. Um, anytime you need to manage speakers or get information and have it output in a way that you need it for the right individuals, we're a great fit. We have some clients like, for example, the Mayo Clinic. They have ground rounds. For those of you who aren't familiar with ground rounds, it's just one speaker that speaks every other week on one topic. But even with just managing one speaker, they have so many over the course of the year that they choose to use the Cadmium CD's conference harvester in order to collect that information. So more of it is the more data that you need to collect, the better our system would work for you. And medical planners have a lot of data they need to collect, so that's an excellent example. They certainly do, especially now with all the new changes. Um, so one last question, um, I'm, unless I see something else come in. Um, what does Cadmium CD have in plan for the future? Sure. 
So we've been working a lot on um, the, I noticed there was a couple of questions about the room management pieces where um, we just recently signed a very large contract with the American Library Association. They have the dubious pleasure of, measuring, uh, of managing over a thousand rooms at their annual meeting and um, they need, needed a robust system to manage all those rooms so that they can look at any date and time and see what's available for their attendees and their planners to use. Um, we're working really hard with them to develop that and to implement that for all of our clients. Well, I can't thank you enough, Michelle, for being here. I mean, if there's not a testimonial, a live one actually happening in the group chat, I've never seen it before. So I really appreciate it.